Good Friday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of your forecast into the rest of the weekend. We've got some fairly quiet conditions for right now. Unfortunately, as we go into later on tonight, we are going to be looking for the possibility of some more rainfall heading our way. Not huge chances, not severe weather, not even really expecting any thunderstorms, but it is going to be that possibility of seeing some of those showers out there that could be a bit of a problem again for Friday night football heading out of the town. We'll take a look at the Friday night football forecast coming up in just a little bit. If you've never been here before, welcome to the show. This is our online video weather blog. Usually happens about this time when I'm here during the week and a great opportunity for you to ask questions about what's going on with the Mid-South forecast. If you can't stick around for the whole thing, forecast scrolling by in the red bar at the bottom of your screen or you can go straight to this website at wreg.com slash weather and check out more about our 7 to 10 day forecast or you can email me information at austin.onic at wreg.com if you'd like to replace your location and any weather reports you have from around the area, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use and let's see what's going on around the Mid-South area. Again, we'd leave uh, city and state from around the area for a location. Don't need your whole address. Thank you very much for being that trustworthy. But again, just to let us know where you are and what the weather's going on out where you are located and we'll read those as we go along. And of course, if you have anything in the way of weather pictures, we'd love to see more of them. We'll show you a sampling of one of them coming up here in just a little bit. So thanks to everybody for joining us for this morning. Let's go ahead and get started and show you the next three days. Temperatures are going to be taking a bit of a tumble as we go into and around the later portion of the weekend. Temperatures by Sunday will be back in the mid to upper 50s, so a little cooler out there. And as we go toward Monday morning, there is a possibility, it's not huge, but it is a possibility at least, that we may see some frost around the Mid-South in portions of the area toward about close to around uh, early early Monday morning as the kids are out at the bus stop. So if you've got plants outside, you can bring them in or you can cover them up if you can't move them any place. But once again, this is going to be a time of a year to make certain that you've got those things taken care of as we get into some chillier weather across much of the Mid-South. David D. Bruno, where that snow at? Uh, Topeka, Kansas. My folks got some back that direction and also back into the Rockies, getting some early snow in some portions of the area there. Actually, the Sierra Mountains are actually getting some snowfall as well. So we're getting some nicer conditions for winter and helping out the firefighters out that direction. So David Bruno, good question. Uh, Avery Nellum, good morning from Ripley, Mississippi. 46 and mostly sunny. Thank you very much for that one. 42 in New Bern, Tennessee. Don Garner, thank you very much. And Kathy Carson, Shelby Forrest, 50 degrees. Thank you very much for that one. A few more clouds over Memphis International Airport seen down toward the bottom portion of your screen. Partly cloudy skies and temperatures again doing pretty mild. No delays reported. Again, delays of 15 minutes or less according to the Federal Aviation Administration uh, into and around the area there. Therese Golson Howell, yeah, I've got about uh, two lemon trees as well sitting outside so we've got to get those brought in or covered up if at all possible. So we'll see some more there. Now if you're traveling this morning, to warmer places or anywhere across the continent of the United States. No problems being seen, no major slowdowns at connecting or other airports across the continental U.S. More of this weather information, again, available on our website, or again, you can go to the website here at fly.faa.gov for airport conditions across the continental U.S. Traveling around I-240 in Poplar this morning, no construction going on, and at the peak of rush hour this morning, Blue skies mixed in with some clouds, but no rainfall coming down uh, into and around the area, so we don't see anything in the way of major problems for anything involving rain or frost for this morning. Randy Forbus, 80 degrees in Ocala. Hope I'm saying that right. Florida, welcome to the show. And David Mankmeyer from Oxford, Mississippi. Loving the weather. Glad to hear about that. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, nothing showing up again immediately, but as we go into the course of uh, the rest of the day, all of this out here is going to be heading our direction. So we will see more chances of rainfall throughout the rest of the day today and also into tonight. So if you have outdoor plans, if you're leaving pretty soon, won't be back until later this evening. Take the umbrella with you because all of this is going to be making its way into our area. And unfortunately, rain coming down exactly where it is not needed. We're getting a lot of rain over those flooding areas 
of central and southeastern Texas. So tons of rainfall adding to the tons of rainfall. Not a good situation in and around that area. So hopefully getting some drier weather in for Texas relatively soon. And our chances of rainfall again, not severe, not looking at thunderstorms, but we will see that potential of more rainfall again, mainly into later on tonight. Temperatures back into the lower 40s, a little bit on the brisk side out there for early this morning. Lower 40s across much of the Mid-South. These are the coolest numbers that we've got so far. Some of the warmest numbers back into the upper 40s in the News Channel 3 backyard and lower 50s elsewhere across much of the rest of the area. Kevin Bell, 49, partly cloudy in Cordova. Thank you for that weather report. Thanks for checking in there. Uh, Bartlett, George Moore, ham call sign Whiskey Victor for Whiskey, 73 from KG4GKE. Glad to hear from you this morning and thanks for uh, fellow amateur radio operator for checking in for this morning. Rest of the forecast running the numbers into the rest of the day. We start to see, again, the possibility of some very mild temperatures into this afternoon, but right about the time you're starting to pick the kids up from school and heading home from work tonight, that's where we start to see the chances of rainfall in the Mid-South area. Still very mild into this evening, starting things off, and then afterwards the rain helps to cool things off, so we'll be in the lower 60s about the time the games start to come to an end. And by the time we hit tomorrow morning, around daybreak. The rain is going to be on its way out of here, so we may see some showers lingering around daybreak across the Mid-South, but then the rest of the weekend looks pretty good out there. We'll have more on your forecast coming up on daybreak into the rest of News Channel 3 live at 9. Temperatures today will be about as close to normal as they have been in quite some time. We've had some very cool weather out there throughout the rest of the last few days, so mid to upper 60s for today, mid to upper 60s tomorrow, and again some scattered showers early during the day. That should be going away as we go throughout the rest of the day into the afternoon. Now, coming up on Sunday, a big push of dry air comes in, gets rid of the rainfall. The colder temperatures arrive on Sunday. Highs on Sunday, barely out of the mid-50s, so definitely a jacket or maybe a light coat. Now, on Monday morning, this is where we could see the coldest air of the season so far. Could be a killing frost in some of the areas. The temperature, this forecast, again, roundabout for the metro area, kind of a happy medium for across the Mid-South. Looks like the Memphis metro area will see lows in the upper 30s. North of I-40, West Tennessee, Northeast Arkansas, you stand the greatest chance of getting some frost out there, and this could be a killing frost for some of the area. So now's the time to start making certain that the plants you want to keep around outside are protected because by Sunday night, Monday morning, it'll be a little bit too late. Temperatures throughout the rest of the week staying just below normal. Again, we should be around the lower 70s at this time of the year. We're going to stay in the 60s, very comfortable. Next chance of rainfall outside of this weekend will be Wednesday, and again, possibly on Thursday, but we're just not looking again at a lot of major amounts of rainfall coming up. Now into November, that can be our rainiest month of the year. So we may pick up even more rainfall. Statistically, we may see a lot more than that coming up in the next few weeks. Jeffrey Frieden, buy bread and milk. Thank you for reminding me. And if you're going by the store later on, please pick up some root beer. That would be great of you. Bentonville, Arkansas, Grace Wilbanks, my old snopping territory back when I worked for KFSM TV5 in Fort Smith. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from Northwest Arkansas from this morning. Back into the tropics, we've got again some dry and quiet conditions across Florida Panhandle, which is great news for the cleanup efforts around Mexico Beach and southern parts of Georgia. We have little, if anything, going on. That remnant of that tropical depression earlier this week is now moving up into Texas. And that's, again, exactly where that rainfall is not needed. Now, for the next two to five days, the National Hurricane Center doesn't have anything on the radar, so to speak. We're looking at very quiet conditions out there. So, so far, the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and the Gulf, and the west coast of the United States is quiet. Nothing, again, on the major side developing. If anything does happen through the weekend, keep it tuned to News Channel 3. We'll be monitoring the National Hurricane Center, so keep it updated here with us at News Channel 3. Next week, the next meeting for Skywarn Spotters will be taught in Ashland, Mississippi, at the county courthouse. That's for Benton County and surrounding areas. If you'd like to know more about severe weather, now's the time to get trained on that as we are about to enter into storm season number two. That's between about roughly late October 
October and about mid-December to where we can get some of the nastiest weather we can get here in the calendar year. Don't believe me? Ask the people who live around Houston High School what they experienced back out around Christmas a few years ago or Thanksgiving. I can never remember which one it is. But these meetings last about an hour, hour and a half, give or take, depending on how many questions are asked and answered taught by the National Weather Service in Memphis. And again, all you have to do is show up, no pre-registration, totally free, great opportunity to learn more about getting ready for severe weather before, learning what happens during, and how to respond afterwards, including reporting information back to the National Weather Service so they can broadcast information to the rest of the Mid-South, keeping everybody safe. So the more people we have learning about severe weather and able to see what is going on and reporting that information back to the National Weather Service, the safer we all are. I'm going to post this information here for the website so everybody can take a look at that, or you can head again to my social media pages for more information about what's going on there. George Moore, thank you as an amateur radio operator for checking in uh, at this time. Teresa Andrasudi, hope I'm saying that right. Jabber Blabber, uh, thanks a lot. We did that again this morning, just about right after our full weather. If you'd like to see more, just tune into News Channel 3 Daybreak starting at 6.10 a.m. as Todd Demers has the forecast to uh, Monday morning coming up at 6 10 a.m. Thank you for that. More information about these, again, go to the National Weather Service webpage or go to our website. We'll post more about that at wreg.com slash weather. Coming up this weekend, a great opportunity to introduce your kids your business workers, anybody else to the science of astronomy. October 20th, the evening hours, is going to be International Observe the Moon Night. And Moonrise will be happening at 4.33 p.m. It's a waxing gibbous moon, which means it's getting brighter and fuller as it heads toward full in a few days. So it's just a great opportunity to get out and practice astronomy, learn more about science, and a great opportunity to learn a little bit more about your universe, your world, and a great opportunity to see more out there. More from Moon nasa.gov, facebook.com slash observe the moon. And of course, we'll be placing more about this, <coughs> excuse me, throughout the rest of the weekend on our weather pages at wreg.com slash weather. Thanks to TN underscore WX for a great view up around Carroll County, if uh, memory serves up there. Beautiful, wispy mare's tails and a few contrails out there at sunset yesterday, so some beautiful weather out there. Thank you very much for that. Teresa Harden, 49 degrees, cloudy in Senatobia. Thank you very much for checking in from North Mississippi. If you've got weather pictures to share, we'd love to share them for you, but we can't share them if you don't send them, so you kind of see the problem I'm working with here. Aonic underscore WREG3, also on Facebook, also on Instagram, also on too numerous to mention social media networks about there someplace. Check in for more with Bob and Josh. I'll be on the air with them through 10 o'clock this morning on AM 730. Can't catch them because you're too far out of town. Dial them up online at talkbacklivenetwork.org. Sports chat extraordinaire. Tons going on in the Mid-South with Memphis taking on Missouri at Columbia later on this weekend. So a lot to talk about there and a lot more with Memphis sports in and around the area as well. Okay, one more look at the forecast again for the rest of the day. Temperatures back in the upper 60s, very mild. Again, looking at more clouds and increasing chances of showers throughout the next few days. So we are seeing that potential of rain sticking around the area as we get into the early evening hours, which means if you're heading out for the gridiron tonight to watch what's going on in local prep contests, you are going to have to have some rain protection out there. Now, a lot of places don't allow umbrellas, so you may have to get some alternate rain protection like a poncho or a rain jacket or something like that. And it's going to be cool by the time the games come to an end. That rain out there will be cooling things off into the mid to upper 50s, so please keep that in mind as you head out for tonight's contest or just going out on the town. Coming up, a little bit later on this morning, we've got some new locations for weather where the troops are. If you had a chance to check in lately, we've been going to uh, Japan, Camp Bond steel in the former Yugoslavia and a lot of places around Germany. If you have friends or loved ones serving in the United States military, please join me just before 11 o'clock this morning and we'll talk more about that coming up here in the course of the rest of the forecast. And that'll be again right before 11 o'clock on my Facebook page, 
Twitter, and Periscope as well. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Brighton is cool this morning. Joyce Collins, thank you very much for that. Wynn, Arkansas, cool and cloudy. Thank you very much for that weather report. And good morning to everybody else checking in. Bill Dwayne Tippins, partly cloudy in Independence. Thank you very much for that weather report out there for this morning. We'll have more coming up throughout the rest of the morning. Jim Jaggers has your forecast starting on News Channel 3 first at 4. And, of course, I'll be here all weekend long keeping you updated as to what's going on with weather in the Mid-South and beyond. So stay tuned for more on that. Again, questions, concerns, ideas, complaints, if you absolutely must, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Would love to have you along for the ride and give you an idea as to what's happening out there. And if there's something on here you want to see, more radars, more satellites, more climate data, whatever it is, let me know about it and we'll run it up the flagpole to the management and see what they say about it and see if we can add that on here for later on. Live and direct from downtown Memphis Friday morning. Welcome to the weekend. I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 on air and online as we head from Friday into the weekend. Yeah,